so what's up people this is king up the seventh and i am doing more vod reviews this is actually a match that i haven't seen i'm probably going to upload this one after the loser finals match which is not the right order but whatever so this is actually a match that i haven't seen yet i don't know what happened i think i fell asleep during this match and woke up for loser finals but we have kazunoko versus goichi in winners finals of the TW Fighter Major 2018. You have Goichi playing Ginyu, who I've never seen him play before. Bardock and Vegeta. And you have Kazunoko playing his new team of Gotenks Point, Gohan, which I think he's the best Gohan in the world, and Yamcha. So Kazunoko used to play Kid Buu, I believe, but he dropped Kid Buu for Gotenks, which is interesting. Because he's kind of he kind of serves the same purpose as Kid Buu. He's a nice lockdown assist for you, and also Kid uh, Kotink's assist got better, although it doesn't have the restand that it used to have in the very beginning of the game. Now, when it locks you down with it, you don't use your smash anymore. So you could do something like you could combo Gotenks assist into Gohan legs, and then you can smash someone up. So you can get the Dragon Rush afterwards, and then you have Yamcha assist, which is in my opinion the best assist in the game, although. With Gotenks assist buff, it might be contested a little bit, but yeah. Gotenks and Gohan can do some funky stuff together, and Yamcha's just a good assist with anyone. So, and I think it's one of the faster assists in the game. I don't know what it ranks in speed, but it's definitely a fast assist. It comes out pretty fast. So, I'm pretty interested to see how this one is going to go. Ooh. Think about Kazunoko is Kazunoko is insane and does the most I don't want to say disrespectful but he will definitely dragon rush you full screen and just DP all the time if he can. And you definitely don't want to be in a corner versus Kazunoko's Gohan. Ooh, I wonder, okay, just to get Gotenks back in because Gotenks is low. Ooh. And then that's death. And then Gotenks is out of here already, so we don't get to see Kazunoko's new Gotenks in this first match. He didn't even play the game. And then Vegeta assist, although it got nerfed in the very first patch of the game, it's still a solid... Ooh, it just gets opened up. Everybody doesn't have Goichi's defense. So, although you saw Goichi blocking a lot of those mix-ups and taking a lot of those dragon rushes, you won't see other people doing that. But what I was saying is, although Vegeta's assist got nerfed before, it's still a super good assist at catching people in awkward situations and... Just also extending combos. And this is the best Yamcha in the world, but I don't think it's good enough to make this comeback. But he gets him with a dive kick. Oh, Jesus. Yamcha is... Oh, maybe you can't make the comeback, but man, Yamcha takes so many touches to actually kill you. I like how the rest of the Ginyu Force is also just wearing yellow, even though it looks ugly. Like, this is definitely not a good Ginyu skin, in my opinion. <laughs> but whatever. Ooh, nice block. Nice guard cancel. Solo guard cancel. Very risky maneuver. It's too bar. Yamcha has to touch two more times. Or more than two more times. Ooh, nice. 2H. Level 3? No, he decides not to do it. His Dragon Rush comes out first. Spirit Ball attack into level 3. 
I don't think this kills. Oh, no, this definitely kills. Wow, is Yamcha really gonna. Oh, what? I did not know you could do that. I think he canceled the ending animation of 2H into a dash on the other side. What the heck? That's dirty. That's cheese. Level 3. Now you gotta eat this mix up. Oh, oh, probably. Actually, I don't know what Yamchis do. I wonder why he chose to heavy. I don't know the frame data on Yamcha's moves or anything, for the most part, so... So, Gucci has bar assist. Yamcha has life assist, though. Mm. He couldn't convert on the light. Couldn't convert on the light again. Uh, and that's the dead Vegeta. Wow. That's a yikes. This man with the best defense in the world got I mean Yamcha's mix up game is pretty strong. But Yamcha takes so many hits to kill you. And he got bodied by like it wasn't really it wasn't close. I think solo Yamcha got Comboed maybe once. Yamcha absolutely destroyed his whole team. So yeah, all right, let's let's keep going. Nice reflex. Why did he guard cancel there? Damn, that scaling that does a lot of damage. He's just trying to make space for himself. See, this time Gotenks actually gets to play. And if he got beat by Solo... I don't think Gotenks even touched anybody last time. He just got beat by Solo Yamcha. This is not looking good. Mm. The Barak assist just beat out Yamcha assist? I don't know why that happened. I think Yamcha assist got reflected. But even still, it should still be active. I think Bardock is just straight up body Yamcha assist. I'm not going back far enough. I think... Yeah, and I think it hit Gohan too. Ah, okay. Nice DP, but you get hit by... Purple Comet after that. I just miss Senko. Because it hit Raccoon too, so he didn't have to eat that beam. It made Ginyu block and it hit Raccoon. Oof. That's a dead Ginyu. I haven't seen, maybe I haven't been paying attention to it often, but I haven't seen Kazunoko use Gotenks' auto combo mix up too often. But he's going to have to eat this level 3 mix up. Ooh. And then he gets locked down. See, I don't like. Oh, there it is. Auto combo makes up right there after the Yamcha assist. 
because the thing about Gotenks' auto combo is it leaves him in the air. So he can dash forward and either hit you with the overhead or he can go low. And this is death. Like the scaling on... Oh, he messed up his, his combo though. Lose all that blue health. I think he got hit. No, he didn't. Ooh. Gotta call out Yamcha assist after that. Oh, nice! That's one thing about Guichi. After he fails to block a mix up once, he's liable to go into reflect afterwards. So that's probably the best time to hit him with a dragon rush. Yeah. Fist into dash for it low. And now you have to block Kazunoko's Gohan in the corner forever. Ah, Dragon Rush. I mean, you don't have to block him in the corner forever if you just get hit by him and die. And then, if Ginyu doesn't... What? I don't agree with that. The thing about Ginyu, in my opinion, if Ginyu doesn't get a good round start, then his usefulness kind of drops off. Because chances are... He's either... Because afterwards, he's either going to be switched out and put a teammate in a bad situation, or he's going to have to be, after that, after he switches out, he's going to have to be switched in and be put in a bad situation himself. Assuming, though, that the other person keeps advantage. And this Ginyu is getting destroyed, and he's dead. I don't even think he needed to use three bar. Nice double jump over the Bardock medium. And then that's something also that I like that Kazunoko does. Something I actually stole from Kazunoko, but I don't really have a character that can do it anymore. I used it with Tien a lot. So he jumps over the medium, and then what he does is you can guard or you can switch your characters out during their uh, normals. So he does is he does a long lasting normal from Yamcha and to keep the switch safe, he calls in uh yeah, he uses the long lasting normal to keep the switch safe and then he calls in Gohan to get Gohan into an advantageous situation even while switching in. So now he's already blocking the normal, so now he has to block Gohan too right after this. If you want to load in. Stupid. Ah, uh, see, I'm pretty sure after that, that's not safe. So, once you commit to all of that, you have to go into uh, 2H in the legs with Gohan if you want to be safe. Ooh. What did he do there? So he had enough time to switch sides, overhead light him, and then hit him with the key blast, and then continue the combo on the ground. Hmm. How did he even switch the sides there, though? Let me see. Okay. I see. Oh, 
Uh, Goshi's been doing that a lot recently. Just catching super dashes with level three. And I think that's even more useful with Bardock, especially if they don't have Sparking. Because then they're forced to just eat the mix-up after that while taking that 4,000 whatever damage. Ooh, Wolfane Fist. And that scaling. That was a good scaling for Yamcha, but even then, Yamcha just doesn't do that much damage. See, Yamcha, Yamcha just did two whole combos, each with level three. He spent six bars to not kill someone. Actually, no, he spent seven because he did an EX Wolfing Fist. And he didn't kill. So let, let's see. So he starts it off with the EX Wolf Fang Face. And then he gets Dragon Rush, which is not the greatest scaling, I guess, for a combo. But still. Like, if you're using seven bars and you don't kill, that's kind of crazy. Ooh, he almost got him. The heavy takes too long, though. Ooh, goes right into loops. Now you gotta eat this mix up, Yamcha. Knowing Kazunoku is probably gonna wake up with a spin. Oh, no, he woke up with. Oof. Alright, Goichi not getting 3 old. Ooh. I don't even 100% know what happened there. It looked like... He thought he was land in front of him with a heavy? Or he thought... He thought he landed in front of him in overhead. But what ended up happening is he looped over him with the key blast and then hit him low. Yeah, and the whole screen was just messy with both their assists. I guess that's fine. Cause that did create a 50-50. He had to block the ghost and he either was gonna get hit by overhead or low. Alright, Gucci staggering. Nice vanish. You can also light out of that to jab out. Nice dragon rush. I'm telling you, he already got hit by that mix up, so. Oh, what the heck? That scaling is actually insane, too. Just kill this. Kill this guy. Oh, wow, that's death. That's death. Oh, my God. That scale so heavy. Or so not heavily, I guess I should say. Like, once you get hit by that, you just blow up. The X legs is just an insane move. Tadanoko makes me want to play Gohan some more. 
uh, we we're about to see what I was talking about before to where you could get hit by the go tanks assist and then still keep your smash and get to Dragon Rush afterwards. But now Gohan has to eat this mix up with no sparking. Oh, he gets him with the exact same thing that he got him with last time. The side switch light into key blast. And he even had Vegeta assist to even get a better confirm. Or a more guaranteed confirm, I guess. And now just like that, Gochi Ooh, do not super dash at Vegeta at all. That aerial DP makes it super hard to ever approach Vegeta. He got him. Oof. That was tricky. I don't even know why that assist came out on that side. What the heck? Oh, wow. That was... I mean, the thing about it is, though, no matter what, if he was just blocking Vegeta, he wasn't going to get hit by that. So, all he had to do was just keep... Oh, no. Kazunoko's insane. Is he gonna uh he went low this time. Alright, so ooh we're we gonna get Bardog back in. Nope. Kill Vegeta, who's a solid assist. Yeah, don't tell me you're gonna lose it solo Yamcha again. Yep, he's gonna lose it solo Yamcha again, huh? Oh, I'm kind of spoiling myself, even with, like, with the red bar. So, yeah, I definitely know he's going to so long after. No, I don't think it's enough time for another set. How does it happen, though? I need Vanish. That's an easy Vanish, confirm. All right, so he has four bars. Oh, wait. This is not, this is not enough for, all right, now, what? I think if you just level three there, I don't know if level three would have hit, actually. No way. Oh, wow. Out of all the things he gets ended by, Gochi gets ended by a Dragon Rush. GG's, Kazunoko. Kazunoko's my second favorite player, probably, behind Sonic Fox. So, I'm happy he did well this tournament. So, yep, that's all for this set. King Dub 7 signing off. Peace.